We're going to Omaha. And we will be boarding this trip right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So so we are at the airport, it's about 7.30 in the morning, and we are waiting for our flight to go to Atlanta. Powered by coffee. <laughs> so unfortunately, we have to do a layover in Atlanta, which I'm not really happy about. As Joe mentioned, he does not like layovers. I hate having to change planes. Not only do we have to change planes, we actually have to change terminals. I've got my running shoes on, so just in case we have to make a run for it, because you never know, you may have an hour in between flights or you may have 15 minutes. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. We are expecting to be in Omaha somewhere around 12.30 Omaha time. And I checked with uh, Alexa this morning and it's supposed to be anywhere between 40 and 20 degrees today. So Rachel brought like four different jackets, I one did. for every temperature. No, if it's 20 degrees, she's got a jacket. If it's 30 degrees, she's got a different jacket. Well, I may wear them all together, <laughs> four jackets. I got my coat over here. I actually had to take it out of my bag because I was worried we were going to be like overweight. I think my jacket alone weighs like five pounds. You pack so much into your carry-on and then like the little purse slash backpack that you're bringing because you're trying to sneak on as much stuff as possible, right? Like right. one more outfit, one more brush, like everything. So it's kind of like going to the movies. You're like, how much can I act like I can carry? And it's totally normal. I'm totally fine, even though I'm carrying 65 pounds on my back. So we're super excited for this trip. We will check in with you guys when we land in Atlanta. If there's enough time, we'll check in. And then uh, once we get there again at like 12.30, and then tonight we're actually going to be meeting up with Chris and Miriam from Keto Chow for to wings. go to Buffalo Wild Wings. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. Is there anything in my teeth? No, there's nothing in your teeth. Well, it's 10.30 and we landed. Yep, so we are currently in Atlanta. I felt like a Rockefeller. We actually got a drink. Yeah, I can't remember the last time we actually flew on an airplane. First of all, we flew on an airplane that has a first class section. Not that we got to sit in the first class no, section. No, but we were near greatness. But there was a first class section. Usually we're flying in a tin can like on Spirit or Southwest where it's like everybody for themselves to get a seat. Not even the pilot has a padded seat. <laughs> He's sitting in a plastic Adirondack chair from so, Lowe's. So we're in Atlanta right now. Our flight leaves in about 45 minutes and then we've got a two hour flight to Omaha. <gasps> and it's really cool because on the plane, I've just got my laptop with me and I'm working on the video that's going to release hopefully sometime while we're in the air because- How cool is that? Yeah, I paid the extra $16 to have Wi-Fi because yeah, not only are we on a plane that has padded seats and it has, has first class, but you can even get Wi-Fi on the plane. We're so fancy pants. Yeah. I wanted to show you guys, look what Ooh. I've got. There's a New review flavor. coming of this soon. This is a, this one got a little smushed in my backpack, but That's I do right. have another one. It's still gonna taste good. So Perfect Keto mailed us these. This is a new flavor keto bar that is coming out next week. It's your birthday. And uh, it's the birthday cake flavor. And they sent me some of them and I was like, um, we can't eat them. <laughs> but we can this week. Yes, yeah, so we have an entire box of them, but I didn't bring the whole box. I brought three bars with us and we're you going know to we'll, eat them. You know we'll eat the whole box if you bring them. Yeah. Plus I didn't want to travel with a box, but yeah, I would have eaten the entire box. But we're going to do a full review on it. It'll probably come out on Saturday or Sunday and hopefully we're trying to get a discount coupon so that you can order them with the release. But look for that because I'm excited for a birthday cake flavor keto bar. Stick a candle in it. We will check in with you guys once we land in Omaha. While we're here. We made it and our bags made it. And it's cold. Now we have to find a restroom, like immediately. Rachel's gotta find a restroom. I have to go put this coat on because I'm freezing. It's giant. Okay, so we got here and uh, we found our car 
and I'm freezing. I'm so glad I've got my nice hooded jacket because I sure already look like fools being in these like heavy, heavy coats. I see people walking around in like light sweatshirts. I am a woman over 40. I am in heaven right now. <laughs> these cold temperatures, no hot flashes. Everything feels delicious. I'm a South Florida guy who has been in South Florida for 25 years. Practically and, a lizard now. And I'm freezing if it's below 72 degrees. So yeah, right now I can barely figure, uh, feel my fingertips and my gloves are packed somewhere in my bag. <laughs> But I do have a question. Can somebody please tell me what this is yeah, for? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> Actually, I know what it's for. I just haven't seen one in 25 years. It's been a while. We're going to go find the house that we're staying at. Look at the dog. <laughs> it's driving the vehicle. <laughs> I don't think Tabitha could do that. So speaking of dogs. Yeah. So we found the house that we are staying at. And when we first got there, there was a car in the driveway. And we started going, are we at the wrong house? Like what's going on? We get lost easy. So it could have been that we were lost, but no, they just weren't ready for us yet. But we did get greeted by a dog that made Tabitha look like a chihuahua. This thing was huge and it was growling and barking. And Rachel, Rachel's like, I am not going in that house. This ain't the place. So the guy like starts yelling through the door, the person who was in the house, he starts yelling, we're not ready for you guys. Or, no, what did he yell? He's like, we're not interested. We, now's not a good time to talk I think to he you. thought we were selling something. Yeah. Like and, vacuum cleaners. And then he realized that we were the people that were here for the house. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, come, can you come back in a couple of hours? Yeah, they were just cleaning up, which is fine. Because we had to go upload a video. Yeah, we uploaded the video for uh, how us getting ready. Mm -hmm. And so we just hung out at Starbucks. No matter where you go, there's always a Starbucks. Starbucks. Thanks, Starbucks. So before we head back to the house, we're going to stop at this grocery store that we Bakers, just found. Bakers, which we've never heard of before. Never heard of this place. So we're going to run in, we're going to see what they have, and we're going to get some water, maybe some pork rinds or some beef jerky, something like that. Something just to have overnight in the house. But when we were flying, we realized we completely forgot in our Keto Crate video to do the giveaway. Yeah. Because every month, Keto Crate gives us a crate to give away. So let's hide the giveaway in this vlog. So in this vlog, we're going to hide the Keto Crate giveaway. So you're going to have one week from today. Today is Thursday. So next Thursday. So next Thursday during our live stream. Yes. Which will be at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Time. So 9.30 on Florida time, 6.30 California time. Next Thursday, we are going to draw the winner for the Keto Crate for the month of January off of the comments on this video. All you have to do to enter is, number one, you have to live in the continental United States. We're really sorry about that, but there's different laws in other countries, things like that. Plus the shipping to like anywhere else is also expensive, but it's really the laws I'll thing to send, the issue. I have to send my arm and my leg. Yeah. So all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the like button on this video, and then leave a comment down below, any comment you want. And if you don't want to win the Keto Crate, just put in your comment, hey, I'm not interested. Yeah. And we will draw the winner next week during our live stream on Thursday. Yay! So we're going to go see what we can find in, in what is it place? Bakers. Bakers. I wanted to say H-E-B. Are we allowed to shop here? I don't know. Bakers? Never been here. Doesn't sound keto. Sounds like a bakery, but it says food and drug. So hopefully we can find something interesting. I love going to new places. Whoops, their generic brand gave it away. I think we are actually in a Kroger. Must be like Publix where they have Publix and they have Greenwise. Well, we found, we're gonna get some of the seltzer water. It's $2 and what, 99 cents? Buy six, we're not gonna buy six. I don't think we're gonna use six 12 packs in like three days. Doubtful. We found the bar aisle. Look, love good fats. Keep walking. What is that Go Macro bar? Bet you it doesn't have good macros. <laughs> Let's see, 37 carbs. No, thank you. Four dietary fiber. First ingredient, organic brown rice syrup. They have Zevia and it's on sale. What are you doing? I gotta get a shirt, souvenir. I'll leave you alone for two seconds and you're coming out with a shirt. The Corn Husker State. 
Well, now I'm happy. I was looking for something to just get us through until dinner when we're going to meet Chris and Minnie for Buffalo Wild Wings. They have cherry gold cheese and slices. That'll get you through. This is the only bag of pork rinds that they have that doesn't have a bunch of wonky ingredients in it. Well, they actually have a whole bunch of pork rinds. A lot of them have MSG. That's the only one that doesn't have MSG, and it's the only bag in the entire store. So that's my serving, where's yours? This place really sells everything. It's so cute, it makes me wanna buy some dishes. It's like we're in Bed Bath & Beyond all of a sudden. I've never seen a grocery store that sells dishes, dinnerware set, Look at this, tablecloth. It reminds me of the old way Publix used to do the green stamps. Oh, that's right, I remember those things. And they have alcohol in the front. And I mean hard liquor. None of our grocery stores sell that. Joe, can you make us a jar of mayonnaise? They have Instant Pots and fryers. 40 bucks is actually really cheap for that Instant Pot. We should make chocolate while we're here. Look at this, <laughs> elevation. Even what? at the front door, I'm going up something. The biggest mountain that you have in South Florida is the garbage dump. This would be a dump if we were in Florida. And this isn't a dump at all, this is lovely. Well, we are the first ones here at the house and we get to pick where we stay and there is no competition. We are definitely choosing this room based on what we found in the closet. I wonder how long it took to put that together. I don't know, but it's awesome. Anthony would love that, but Anthony's doing the little micro Legos. They're super, super tiny. You almost have to put them together with tweezers. Look who showed up. Hey! hey. Yeah. I'm Chris. Miriam! Oh my gosh! This so, is cool. so this awesome. is cool. We're sharing the house with these guys. We're so excited. We're gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings now, I think, right? I'm gonna eat the yeah. whole buffalo. I know. Is it fried in It better be. That sounds delicious. I'm down. Well, day one is in the books. Travel day. Day one is in the books. I'm ready for Betty Bye if you can't tell. I'm a little tired. So it is midnight here, which means it's 1 a.m. in Florida. And right. we've been up since 4 a.m. yesterday. So it's 1 a.m. Where are we? Oh, we're in Omaha. That's right. We're in Omaha. I'm so tired. I forgot where we're at. Where am I? <laughs> It's been a good day though. We, you know, we've had some good times alone. Yeah. And then we kind of drove around a little bit. We went to, to that grocery store. We waited for Chris and Miriam. If you haven't figured out, we're staying with Chris and Miriam from Keto Chow. And Holly and Steve. And Holly and Steve. They were gracious enough to say like, hey, we've got a house. We've got an extra bedroom in the house. So why don't you guys stay with us? So awesome. Thank and you guys. So, yeah, after they got here, we went over to the venue. The venue's at actually at a church. Yeah, re uh, relevant. Relevant church. I think and that's so it. we helped them drop off the stuff and then we went out to eat and we got to go hang out with Heather, Heather and, and Phil. Phil from our channel. From our Facebook family group. Yeah, so it's been really awesome and it's really cool because Heather and Phil are actually how we got to KetoCon last year. They blessed us with tickets. They blessed us with tickets. So that's one of the reasons that we came here this year is we wanted to get a chance to hang out with them. We're looking forward to hanging out with all of you guys over the next couple days whoever happens to be here yes please come and see us yeah we're gonna be a hug it's a much smaller venue mm -hmm. than KetoCon, so we should be easy to find yeah the redmond booth is all the way in the back you'll so hear my mouth from the parking lot you'll, you'll hear rachel everywhere no doubt so other than that, it has been a great day. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the different presenters tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to getting to hang out with people. I ate your weight in chicken wings tonight. <laughs> P.S. Yeah, well, yeah, you did 24-hour fasting, and then we had wings. And I had a lot of wings. I, had a, I ate an entire large. We each ate a large. I ate an entire large, and I normally can't eat a large wings in a sitting. I split it right down the middle, spicy garlic and salt and pepper, salt and vinegar. And I had the chipotle barbecue rub, half of those, and the other half I had was the spicy garlic. I was so enjoying the wings, I didn't even eat the blue cheese, which is really weird for me. I did not eat any blue cheese, just well, wings. The funny part was Chris pulled up this picture of what level chicken wing eater are you, and it's like one to five. 
And he was like, which one is Rachel? I'm like, Rachel's not on that chart. And he was like, no, 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 I'm looking over there. It's like a number three of like how much meat you leave on the bone when you're done. I was using my company manners. And I said, that's not normal Rachel. That's Rachel out with a bunch of people who like she's just getting to know. So she had one bone. I wish I took a picture of that bone. Right. Of, and I'm like, Eating this ends. This is Eating what Rachel's ends. wings usually look like. And it's basically now a toothpick. Yeah. So you were really good. I was proud of you. You didn't turn all your bones into a toothpick. I didn't embarrass the family. I ate all my food. Can you believe I ate all my food? I'm really proud of you. You were hungry. I was hungry. It's so funny. Caleb says to me, I think I understand parenthood now. It's a lot about just hoping your kids don't shame the family. <laughs> Don't shame the family, mom. Yeah, don't shame the family. And well, I think that's a lot of what being a husband is too, right? Don't shame your wife. Don't don't shame. Did I shame you? No, you didn't. You were I didn't awesome. Shame you. And I didn't shame you by not turning my wings into toothpicks. <laughs> well, you did better than me because you did twenty four hours fasting. I didn't. I broke down when we went to that grocery store and I had a couple pieces of cheese. But it was totally worth it. Yeah. Well, that is our video for today. So please just favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.